Hello, and welcome to the SGA Network website. I'm Natalie Court, Managing Director of the SGA Network, and I want to take a few minutes to show you the best tools and tricks you can use in accessing the vast amount of archive training programs that are accessible to you as an SGA Network member. So far, I'm going to share with you my web browser here on this quick WebEx demonstration. Web actually is a program that we use to do our web conferences and our webinars that bring you our interactive programming that we offer usually the fourth Tuesday of every month. So go to sganetwork.org. This is the home page that you're seeing here. First thing you're going to want to do as a member is log in to the SGA Network website. So click this tab here called the Login tab, and this is going to bring you to the Login page. If you're a first-time reuser, you're going to have to register. So you click the Register tab, and this is going to bring up the registration page. You're going to enter your personal information, your name. You're going to enter a username, and this is a name you make up on your own. You enter your email address here in the email page, and then you company, you're going to go through the scroll bar and select your company name and enter it here. The next step is you're going to create a password, and this will be your own password that you should write down and save so that you don't lose it and you can use it to log on later. You're going to verify that password. You can put in your employee number, which is an optional thing, and then you also have to put in the formula here that they ask you. This particular one is saying 10 plus 10 equals, and you would type in 20 in that field. And then you click the registration tab. After you've done that, you go back to login. And in the login tab, you're going to then enter your username and your password that you just created in your registration tab. And you're going to click login. And what you're going to see happen then after you log in is it's going to take you to our home page. And our home page has several areas I just want to highlight to you just in our, our most recent programs. Featured trainings are programs that are associated with our theme of the month. So, for instance, this month our theme in January is Saturday. And so all of these programs in the featured trainings are going to relate to something with technology or cybersecurity, virtual meetings, that kind of thing. You'll see upcoming events listed here and then learning categories here on the right-hand column. The best way to access a video that you specifically want to view is to click on the Video Library tab. And here you have several ways you can search. You can search by new releases. You can search by topics. And we have lists here about 40 different topics or competencies that you could search for. You could also search by speakers, and this gives you a drop-down menu of speakers that you could search for and look up a particular speaker if you wanted to find their program. Another clever way to search is by keywords. So you could just type in a keyword here, say communications, and it would pull up all the programs on communications. There are other tabs I want to show you quickly. The support tab is where you can go to access our most recent newsletters. There's a monthly newsletter link here on the right-hand column, and this will pull all of our past newsletters. Click on and get more detailed information. The other link that is good here for you to know about is the Supervisor Development tool. This is a new tool that we have been working on. It's a mapping program. And what it does is it maps the topics found on our website to specific job programs or functions and individual roles. So if you're a supervisor and looking to expand your responsibilities and grow in some of your areas, you might want to look at, say, the Managing People mapping tool. This will take you to a PDF document that focuses on, as a supervisor, one of your areas managing people. If you look at this in detail, then, you know, one of the responsibilities of managing people is coaching and mentoring. What program site really coaching and mentoring? And then you can go through and select a program that might be useful for you. 
This is a good map and a good tool to help you work with your supervisor and help you expand on your responsibilities and grow in different areas. We encourage you to utilize this as a tool for um, growing in your position and, and work with your manager on that as well. If you are a training manager, then you could use that, that for your employees and help your employees with that. If you have any questions or technical problems, Accept the website, please contact Farlene Powell. Her number is 972-620-4025 or farlene at southerngas.org. Again, thank you for being a member, and we look forward to seeing you online in the future. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you so much, and have a great day.